Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are continuing on with this thing, which I built in like two videos. I think we've done a pretty good job with this thing so far, but I figured we need to actually do some more to it. Uh, essentially what I want to do today is add a rear coupling so we can actually pull things along with it. Uh, I also actually want to go ahead and start building some cars that will go on the back of this. And I also want to add another condenser to the inside so that we can actually, instead of releasing the steam out the top, we can send it through a condenser. With that being said though, we might not do that today, or we might, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? If you guys have missed it as well, uh, I have actually built a uh, steam locomotive using a nuclear engine. If you guys want to see that, then have a little look at my channel and you will see it straight away. But anyway, let's go ahead and get on with building these straight away. Let's go. Alright, so what I'm going to do is actually delete this thing right here. We're going to go ahead and get ourselves a pivot and we're going to go ahead and build this directly into here, just like so. Now you might be wondering why I've put it so far back. Uh, there is a reason for that. It's so that we can actually do this. There we go. I think that's pretty sick. We're then going to grab one of these. We're going to get ourselves a pivot. No, not a pivot. A connector. Sorry. Connector. And we're going to attach that directly into there. So hopefully this will work. With that being said, we're now going to grab all of this. So from there to there to there to the outside. There we go. Excellent. We're going to grab all of this. And we're going to grab all of this. We're going to copy it. We're going to turn it around. We're going to move it to the back. And we're going to paste it on somewhere around here. It won't fit on because of reasons. But there you go. Delete this. Uh, delete that. Delete that. Delete that. Delete all of this. Delete these guys. And honestly, we'll just recut it. And it should be good. So cut this. Move it backwards into place. There we go. Should we just do it so that it's like directly attached? I guess that wouldn't be too much of a bad thing. Yeah. There we go. Directly attach the rear of there. Go ahead and merge this with this. And honestly, we just need to get ourselves another pivot. And then we're good to go. All right, there we go. So pivot's going to go directly underneath. Uh, up here, we're going to attach this onto there like so. And that should honestly be fine. We're going to go ahead and paint those in. Uh, we'll merge this together with this. And there we go. So spawn this in. We now have those guys on the front ready to go. Uh, the same on the rear, ready to go also. And that's pretty sick. I like that. Okie dokie, so now it's time to actually build some train cars into this. How do I even want to do that? I have no idea. Let's go ahead and put this right here real quick. Go ahead and build this out too. Delete this one and this one. Grab one of these, put it directly in here like so. And we should be able to build it straight behind this one. To be fair though, maybe we should just start a new thing and that would be good. So, new build. Let's, actually let's save this first. Save this as this, there you go. And new, yes, okay. So we're going to attach that directly onto there, just like so. We're going to grab one of these, uh, just so that we know the height of it. And then we can build it at the right height, and that'd be good. So actually, paste that there, delete this and this, delete all of these guys. And then we should be able to go from there. So I'll we'll actually put some pivots on these, uh, and hopefully that'll be good. So pivot there. Let's go ahead and build it onto the train car, and then hopefully that'll be fine. So we are building this on both edges, both sides. Build this out to there. Actually do this first. There you go, excellent. And then I'm not entirely sure how wide I want this to be, but yeah. So it's going to be about this wide for right now. Uh, I need to figure that out, actually. I really need to figure that out. All right, so it wants to be like nine wide. Uh, we're going to do it like this. There we go. And then nine by, we want it to be a rectangle. So how big is this? Nine by 13, maybe a little bit longer, 14. There we go. We'll do that. Uh, we're then going to do exactly the same thing we've done on this side, on the rear, and we're going to go with that. So copy this, turn it around, move it to the rear, and paste it on like so. Excellent. I want these things to be very small, like those train cars you get in Hornby sets. You guys know what I'm talking about? Those little, like, wooden things? I think they're really cool. So we're going to try and build those on. Uh, with that being said, how do I even do that? Like, what do I want it to look like? I'm not even entirely sure. Uh, we need, obviously, some um, wheels on the bottom. So we're going to try and fit these in so that they fit. Hopefully, this is okay to build them in like this. Maybe. There we go. So that would go there like that. Let's go ahead and build this across the top real quick. And then we should be able to just whack it in. So let's go with the C one for now. There we go. Excellent. Delete all of that. Do the same thing on this end. Delete all of this. 
Grab a little straight piece, there we go. Build it over the top and put it back on there. There we go. So that's going to go in there like so. That seems fine. Let's go ahead and spawn this in, see what it looks like. Yeah, alright, cool. These are going to be awesome. These are going to be really cool. Okie dokie. So we're going to go ahead and build this up like this. One, two, three, four, maybe even five. There we go. Actually, that's probably high enough. One, two, three, and four. There we go. Excellent. And then we need to somehow build a floor into this also, which is uh, pretty tricky. But there you go. Um, but that should be fine. There we go. That's probably A-OK. -okay. We then need to build some actual walls into this. So the way that I'm going to do this, just for right now, is like this. There you go. And you might be thinking, well, that looks ugly. I'm going to change it slightly. We're going to go in here. We're going to get this color. We're going to get a... Um, microcontroller and we're going to build it on. One, two, three. Actually, how big is this? This is currently 14. So the middle of that is like seven. So we got seven there and we've also got seven there. So right in the middle, we're actually going to build another one of these in. And yeah, we need a microcontroller that is seven long. And here it is. So seven long. Oh, it only goes to six. Of course it does. Let's go ahead and make it five then. And that should be good. Go ahead and just save this as um, coal car sides. There we go. Excellent. And save it. Yeah. Coal car sides. There we go. Right. So you might be wondering, what the heck are you doing? But um, you'll see in a second. So if we go all the way to the bottom, we get this one. Coal car sides. We can now attach this to... Oh, maybe six would work. Yeah, because this is actually six and six. All right, we need to replace that with sixes instead. Sorry. Here we go. So six. Save it. Coal car sides. Yes. All right, go back in here. Grab this one. Yeah. All right, this is totally going to work. So we're going to make them uh, this color for now. So one, two, three, and four. We're going to do it here. One, two, three, and four. Uh, like that. And we're going to do it on the rear as well. Uh, but these ones do actually have to be five. Okay, we can do that. All right, so there we go. I think that honestly looks uh, pretty decent, to be honest. So we're going to go ahead and get some weight blocks. I know this doesn't seem right, adding weight blocks to things like this. But honestly, I like the way they look uh, on stuff like this. So we're going to actually add weight blocks into those pieces. Same with these little bits right here. And now we've got a little coal car uh, that actually looks quite good. With that being said, we're going to delete the interior of this. So from there, all the way to here. From here, all the way across to there. And from the front, all the way across to here. And then I think we should actually build in a floor in this. Otherwise, we're going to have problems. So there we go. That actually looks pretty decent, to be honest. I like it. All right, so the other thing we're going to do is actually add some of these also. There we go. I think they're in about the right place. And honestly, I kind of like it. The next thing that I want to do is add these guys uh, to the corners. Because I think it'll look a tiny bit nicer than it currently does. And we'll actually do that all the way down to the bottom, just like so. And the same right here, just like so. What do you guys think of that? I think that would be pretty awesome. So let's save this as we have it currently. There you go. Uh, we'll attach two of these to the back, or maybe even three, to the back of our steam locomotive and see how it looks. Oh, I hate that these spawn sideways. So we're actually going to go ahead and put it on a slightly different track. That's okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put it on there like so. Excellent. You do have to be pretty precise with these now. Uh, and if you guys are wondering why it's so dark, it's because I'm in the mission editor. But yeah, so there's our steam locomotive. We now need to add the actual cars behind, which are going to look like these. And I'm going to add three of these, and hopefully that'll look pretty good. I'm assuming it'll be able to pull them. Uh, with that being said, maybe it won't be able to, but we'll try. So we're going to put these on like this. Add another one. Here we go. In fact, I might add like five. Let's have five. Um, they shouldn't be very heavy. My train should be able to, oh, my locomotive should be able to pull it. I'll pull them. Uh, and that should be pretty good. With that being said, they are currently empty and they can't carry coal. Uh, not properly anyway. So we might have to fix that, but go ahead and spawn this in as so. And push them all together. Here we go. Nice. Yeah. All right. All of them are slowly attaching. Excellent. Keep it going forwards. Do, 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 do. Yep, we're almost there. Come on, attach all of them together. You got this. There we go. And then finally, we need this one to attach. What's that? <laughs> what is this? This is part of this build. Okay, hang on. Let me put it inside real quick. In fact, I can put it in a cold car. <laughs> there we go. We can use our cars for carriages. That, that works. Okay, good. We're going to push this backwards. Oh, is this not actually on the track? No, it is. There we go. It is on the track. 
Please say they're going to attach. Come on. There we go. They've attached together. Excellent. And now we're going to go ahead and pull the cars down the track and see what it looks like. Honestly, I think they look pretty good. So let's get inside. Go ahead and do this. All right. We'll now wait for this to heat up and then we'll get going. Beautiful. I think they look great. All right. So just to test out our locomotive a little bit, we'll actually try and get to this straight piece right here. Uh, essentially, our end point is going to be this bridge. Hopefully, we can get all the way around there in order to actually test this train out quite a bit. If we get to that point and we want to go further, we will actually continue all the way around and maybe make it all the way to Terminal Spy Cakes. We'll go with that anyway. We'll see. Uh, but we just have to wait for it to start up and then we can get it going and that'll be brilliant. We need some lights on this thing, don't we? That might be the next thing we add, actually. Some lights. We also need that condenser and uh, stuff like that. But I think we're good. All right, our boiler pressure is actually getting up there. So now we should start moving. Here we go. All of those are under tension now, and we are actually under load. Our wheels are slipping slightly. In fact, they're slipping quite a bit now. This might be pretty tricky for this thing to move. But hopefully it gets there. Let's go ahead and lower this down a lot, actually. And then the wheels are not slipping anymore. Let's go ahead and increase this. They are slipping a little bit, actually. They are slipping a tiny bit, but we are moving, so that's good. All right, let's go ahead and increase this. There we go. We're moving quite a bit faster now. What's our speed? Our speed is 3.5. We're going to let this increase slowly by itself. Uh, and hopefully we'll be good to go from there. With that being said, uh, I would like to see in front of us. <laughs> I wish I could see past, but I can't, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we might make the cab a bit, bit wider, maybe. But we'll see. Anyway, what are we up to now? Five. Let's go and increase this a little bit more. There we go. We don't seem to be slipping as much, so that's pretty good. Or at all, actually. I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, increase this even more. There we go. We want to get it up to at least 10, even pulling cars. Right? Surely. But yeah, the boiler temperature is going up. The pressure is actually all the way up. Um, our speed has gone down. Interestingly enough, our pressure is being let off because the, uh, the pressure is getting too high, as you guys can see. But yeah, we're now at 8. Oh, we're actually rocketing down. This is good. I'm going to go to full. Hopefully, we can just keep it going. There we go. We're at 10. Excellent. Uh, and it's totally working. Brilliant. Lovely. So, that is actually really, really awesome. Obviously, we've got like, what, five cars on the back of this. Uh, you have to start very slowly. But then once you've started and you are actually accelerating, you do go pretty quick. We're at 10. Uh, which is actually what I was aiming for. If we are going to start going slower in a second... Uh, but then as soon as the boiler starts working itself out, it should keep itself at a constant speed. Uh, and I don't think we'll actually ever run out of water because we, we have loads. We actually have so much water. This needs changing so that we can actually see the coal. I accidentally put that at um, temperature instead of the coal in the firebox. But we can work that out. Anyway, we're currently going almost 9 meters per second. And it's looking pretty good. I like it. All right, so now we're actually motoring along. Everything seems actually pretty good. Obviously, the uh, the steam is getting let out at the front, uh, which is like our extra steam. Um, so when the pressure gets too high, this essentially opens a valve that lets steam out of the top and uh, doesn't explode our boiler. And this system actually seems to be working out quite nicely. Obviously, every so often you hear this like puff of steam. There you go. Did you hear it there? There you go, uh, which is pretty awesome. With that being said, I might also actually add a whistle to this as well because it needs a whistle, right? <laughs> it definitely needs a whistle. Um, the other thing is that uh, we actually need to pump the, uh, the, the fluid around a little bit better. So for example, we actually have two big fluid pumps inside of here pushing the steam to the pistons. However, the water going back is actually very minimally pumped because it's only going through one small pump. So we have bottlenecked ourselves a little bit there, but that's okay. With that being said, uh, what we need to do once we get this thing back to a workbench is we need to actually add some lights to this thing. So I think that's what we're going to do, to be honest. We'll add some lights. We might add some sort of nameplate somewhere. Might add some paint blocks along here um, and stuff like that. I also have an idea about this bit. I might make it look a little bit different, but we'll see. Anyway, we're still quite far away from where we need to be. It is going to take 10 years to actually get around there, but... um. It's working, so pretty pleased with that. 
Okay, so I think it's pretty obvious that we actually need to work on uh, how fast this thing is actually going. Because, honestly, it is going like, uh, what, like 11 or something? 10? 10 meters per second, which is around 20 miles an hour, which is actually very slow, to be fair. Um, but it is pulling cars, but at the same time, that's no excuse, really. So what we need to do is somehow work out how to pressurize the system to a degree where the pistons are actually working a lot better. So... We might need some pumps on these, uh, some pumps into the pistons, some pumps out of the pistons, and uh, we also need to add some lights. So let's go ahead and do that now. We'll actually leave this one going, and we'll go do that. Alright, so it turns out that I've run out of time, and I need to do that in the next video. So if you guys want to see what happens in the next video, come back soon, and uh, we'll upgrade this thing. I don't know whether this is actually an already upgraded version of this, because I'm editing this later. And this is an edit, but um, yeah, hopefully you guys come back for the next video. Uh, it's a lot of fun building this. It is a lot of fun. Anyway, hope to see you next time.